so I ran intentionally misfire. The missiles that they launched didn't hit anything, and they did that deliberately. In this day and age, you're going to go for precise targets. So I think we should respond like this. The U.S. should just leave it all alone and uh, just fall back. Send some better radar systems out there to detect missiles if they send it to their, um, towards the base. And just fall back. We don't need to jump up and escalate the situation because Iran, Iran basically showed that they really do not want no war, but they don't want to be bullied. And if they bully, they will fight. That's what kind of message they show. They show that, hey, we can swing too. And no ma- it don't matter who can win. It just matters as long as we fight back because they know they can't win. But in any situation, if he, even if it was the U.S., right, if somebody attack us, we just we gonna we gonna show we can fight back even if we can lose. You understand? Even if we're gonna lose, we're not gonna just say, "Oh well, we're gonna lose," so uh, we're not gonna do nothing about it. So the move that Iran made is technically a strategic move to their advantage because they didn't do absolutely nothing and then the United States will make a move and then we will be the aggressors, aggression because any move that we make will be a precise move and it will involve precision and somebody will die so it's not even worth it Trump might as well leave it alone move on to the impeachment hoax and I ran. I didn't. I would just give them their little bit of respect, showing that they're willing to fight a battle that they know they're gonna lose. You know what I mean? And other than that, we be the aggressor. We be the aggressor, and uh, China and uh, Russia get involved. A couple of other nations, and we got World War Three. So the way it looked now, this thing can be avoided, and. The way Donald Trump is moving, this is not the type of thing that he's going to respond to. So I don't expect to respond from Donald Trump, like, as far as blowing something up or going after any targets. Well, I think in this this situation that happened is going to put the world at um, better notice to Iran. You know what I mean? And um, now... The only thing the U.S. can do to further the bullshit is stress the nuclear deal and them getting a nuclear weapon. Well, they're not going to stop. They're going to get their nuclear weapon no matter what, by all costs, because they're going to feel like the nuclear weapon is going to be what their survival is based off of. So that's my assessment of the uh, situation, besides the fact that the earthquake was mysteriously... And the airplane crash was also mysterious. And we need answers for that, you know. But we we can come up with assumptions, but assumptions ain't going to be the facts. So let's hear what happened with the plane and let's hear what happened with the earthquake. Now we know that there's no casualties and Trump shouldn't respond in a military fashion. You know, he's going to do some more sanctions, some more tariffs, things like that. That's what Trump would do in this situation right here. And also, he's not leaving Iraq no time soon. I don't think that would be a wise decision for the United States.